All hail Samantha Markle. Guys, if you missed Friday's live over on Popcorn Palace, you missed a doozy. We were confronting Carl Larson, somebody I would say is a defamatory liar and a stalker in my opinion. Uh, he keeps claiming to be Thomas Markle's best friend. Well, Samantha Markle called live on our show to confront him and it was glorious. And I wanted to share the clip here just so all of you can see the truth. No, Carl is not Thomas's best friend. Carl, please leave them alone. It is creepy. If you want to watch the full interview, please head on over to Popcorn Palace and subscribe there and here on Popcorn Planet for all your royalty. And without further ado, here is the best part when Samantha Markle calls in to confront Carl. Enjoy. Samantha yes. Markle live on the show. Such an honor to have you, Samantha. Thank you for being here. Carl just reaffirmed that he is your father's best friend. Can you clarify that? Okay, I'm going to say this very clearly. First of all, I think we need a distinction here between the word friend and predator. Exactly. Okay? My father was kind enough to trust him in the beginning, but, you know, some stuff started happening that wasn't too cool. Um, he got a little bit pushy and I feel took advantage of my dad. And, you know, let me ask you all what you think about this, because a real friend of my father told us in no uncertain terms and told my father that when my father went off to the hospital when he had his stroke, Carl tried to get into his house, probably to rummage around through his things. Now, what kind of friend does something like that when someone's having a stroke. And secondly, how is it that he knew my dad was having a stroke? Was he lurking in the bushes like paparazzi do? So don't tell me that he's a friend of my father's. And I spoke with my father and my brother uh, several times over the last couple of days about this. Excuse my French, but that is total bullshit to suggest that he's a friend of my father. He's not a friend of my father. He's not a friend of our family. And he is not a go-between between, between Megan's camp and our family. If anything, he's trying to enmesh himself and get an angle in any way he can for his own personal gain. So I would say that is predatorial. I would not say that is a friend. You wouldn't call it a remarkable friendship, Samantha? Uh, exactly. Remarkable, remarkable or heinous. Mm, yeah, so I think yeah. Hayden's friendship could have been a better title for their YouTube channel. Why do you keep going against Samantha? I trust. No offense well, to you, I trust her a lot more about her father. Why do you keep insisting you're best friends? We are best friends. She just, you just heard her say that she didn't deny what you just said. So, oh, if you, oh no, oh no, you Samantha, stop. if it, you know, if you didn't write, if you didn't write that book, you could have been invited to the wedding. No, no. You know that. So don't try and change the subject, Carl. Okay, I won't. <laughs> Spoke to my dad last night. You're full of shit. You're not my father's best friend. So shut. Okay. Your so tell me who the father, your father's best friend is. Oh my God! She doesn't have to give you that. What are you? Who are you? So I'm. What do you mean? She doesn't owe that to you. Yeah, you putz. I'm denying it. You're not my father's best friend. You're not a friend at all. You're a fucking predator. Now step off. You know what? Oh, really bad, or you're gonna get a cease and desist. He said last night you're not his friend. He trusted you long enough to find out that you are you were using him. You're not a friend. Who tries to get into someone's house when they're going to the hospital while they're having a stroke? You weren't by his side trying to be his friend while he was on the way to the hospital. You were trying to get into his house. Shut I was trying house. to get it. That's that's defamatory. I was never trying well, to get into his house. Armando is a good friend of his. Armando told us everything. Armando said you tried to get into the house after he left. So don't That's not true. Armando is the one. No, you know what? We trust Armando. And how is it you were near his house at all unless you were lurking in the bushes? I'd love to know. No, Armando is the person that told me your dad went to the hospital. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Save it, save it, save it. You're No, that's not true. So you're not my father's best friend. That is a lie. You know, if I could, I'd get my father Okay, so just tell me who your father's best friend is. No, she doesn't need to do that. <laughs> Samantha, no, sorry to interrupt, but that's not her Carl, responsibility. Carl, it's not a yeah. good God's business. You're not a friend of my father's. He even told me that yesterday. Go away. Okay. You're invited a stalker. To the you're a drunk lover who doesn't want to get off somebody's front lawn. But wait, that's what paparazzi do, right? So that's your MO. Go away, Carl. You're not my father's friend at all. 
So you want me to go on the celebrity tour or not? No. <laughs> I think you need counseling. My father just did an interview with the Daily Mail the other day, making it clear that you're not his friend. So for you to say you are, are you eating chocolate mushrooms like other people in California are? Really, stop. Listen, all I've done is help you and your family and, and your dad. No, 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 no. You've while I was yourself. helping your dad, while I was helping your dad, you're writing a book against Megan. Carl, you're in denial. Don't try it. Be quiet. Nope, that's not true. Okay, that's not true. I'm not in denial. Get a counselor. You are really, this is bullshit. Just, now be quiet. It's not going to work. You should leave your dad out of this and you should oh. never have written that book. And you could have. Oh my God, Carl, enough. We, this has nothing to do with her book. We're talking about yeah, you putting her father's name in the press, which she didn't ask you what, to do. What are you talking about? I didn't Carl? put his name in the press. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah, you must be smoking crack. That's absolutely ridiculous. So, Carl, you need to see some desist. Right. I put on Twitter yesterday. My dad and my brother asked me to put that out there. You stay the hell away from our family. You are not a friend. You are okay. a friend. Nothing you can say is going to change that. Thank you. So, see, if Samantha had not written that book, she could have gotten invited to the wedding. Okay. Carl, you've publicly been asked to stop several times. Carl, this is about you leaving the Markles alone. I'm having Samantha's back. Samantha, I love you. Thank oh. you for being here. Carl, leave them alone. We've yeah. said this very clearly. Do they need to file a restraining order? Will you stop speaking about the Markles? Well, that, you know, there's freedom of speech. People can speak about people that are in the public all they want. But when you start insisting you're a family representative, then that's... Whoa, 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 whoa. I never said I was a representative at all of your family. You're but but it doesn't even make sense. That that comment doesn't even make sense. Not, and you're not my father's best friend. Oh, that is okay. Like, that's Bye. false. Stay the hell away. You're not my father's best friend. He said okay. that in the the other day. Go away. Sure. Yeah, I'm his firstborn, firstborn daughter. I speak to him three, four times a day. I speak to right. Tom several times a day. And now right. I'm with and, no, no, and when no. I'm with your dad, you're always calling yeah, and you're always checking up on him. You're right. Not so you're, ever, you're not ever with my dad. Shut your mouth. He dumped you a long time ago because you are tutorial. He, he dumped, dumped me. What? Well, yeah, he dumped me four years ago. I mean, you would not take no for an answer. You wouldn't leave him alone, and he told me that. I don't know. Now, Carl. I don't even know why we're talking about your dad. He's trying to. This is all stressing your father out. You brought him up. This is all stressing your father out. Samantha, don't worry, Samantha. We got your back. Did Thomas text you about his stroke and tell you to give it to Newsweek magazine? It's a very easy yes or no, Carl. Don't recall. And you know what, Carl, just like, you know who was on the phone with my dad when he was having his stroke? He called me. I'm the one who knew he was having a stroke. When he left for the hospital, right. you were nowhere near. How did you get to Armando and try and get in the house? And let me tell you about the hurricane. Yeah. Get on the phone with dad oh. throughout the whole thing and with Tom. You didn't yeah. offer that. You no, know, my dad would, would never consider staying with you. You are hallucinating. I suggest you get a mental health counselor. Oh, okay. So that or, or you're going to get a restraining order. Right. Because so or, no, you're lying about my dad. Knock it off. Stay the hell away. And that's enough. You have been. You keep told. bringing up. I don't know. You keep bringing up your dad. I don't know why. Because you are not in the name. Name. Are you by falsely, by falsely well, elaborating your relationship with him? I think him. he is, Paula. And I don't want to be mean about it. But, but Carl, you know, why? what do you mean? Why we're bringing it up? You're quoting yeah. him in publications without his permission. I, I brought up my dad because Carl was just suggesting that he offered him a place to stay during the hurricane. You are delusional in oh, my opinion. Oh, oh, wait, Samantha, did you wait, no, Samantha? Are you, you saying? Are, no, step off. Samantha, wait. Have are you it. saying? Samantha, are you saying that I didn't offer a place to stay to your dad for the hurricane? Is that what you just said? If you sent him a text, he ignored you. Yeah, you had no, no, no but oh, okay, Honestly, all right, all right. Samantha, so why I, would I? Why would I? I, I maybe would I, I, I don't know. Some, I would love for you to confirm, Samantha, somebody, whether Thomas did or not, because to me, even if he did, this reads as like I've done this before when the stalker messaged me. I'm like, thanks, but no thanks is sort of what it feels like to me. No, but you're yeah. using that as sort of communication because you keep reaching out, and maybe Thomas well, is just being nice because he's scared yeah. of you. 
Maybe that, and then you, you do exploit every man. text you get. Hold on, Paula. Yeah, hold on. Shouldn't oh, be, wait. You shouldn't be talking oh, about my friend like that. What, he's, he's, he's trying to, he's, he's trying to relax. He's but you are taking friend. every message you get from your best friend and then giving it to Newsweek, and then yeah. you're like, oh, I didn't give it to Newsweek, and then you're caught because Newsweek's mm -hmm. quoting you, giving it to Newsweek. Did Thomas Markle tell you to reach out to Newsweek and talk about your stroke, his stroke? No, so he didn't, correct? Minute. Can we admit that? No, you're asking me if I got permission from my best friend. He's not your, and best, he's not your now, best friend. And now oh you're saying God. that he's not. Such a, you know what? You're such a mega marvel. You will die uh, by the sword, no matter what. You will okay. die on your lies. This is a gentleman who's well, had listen. heart attacks, a stroke, who's recovering, and, and who's been exploited because he's hurting yeah. that his daughter is misbehaving and trashing him in public. And you're right. trying to trash Samantha, the daughter who's defending him and standing by his side, calling you out. I call you out. Wait. You are, I'm sorry, but you, you know That's what? It. You should know no. when to say enough is enough. Listen. This is abuse. This is elderly abuse. You're no, stuck. Uh, why, why, are you, why are you keeping on bringing uh, up Thomas Markle? Like, because, Carl, it's, because Listen, you should be bringing up Megan. We should you know, bring, bring up Megan. No, Megan is irrelevant. Oh, shut and, your mouth, Carl. You just said you keep criticizing everyone and challenging yeah. everyone, asking why they brought up my dad. You just said he's. You just said you're his best friend. You are not... Right father's best friend. Really? Okay, I'm not. Okay, I'm not. So, Samantha, this is your evidence. If you guys need to file a restraining order, he's clearly not going to leave you guys alone, which is really sad no, no. and okay. troubling. No, is there anything okay. else you'd like to say to him before I, I boot him? Uh, yeah, Carl, I think I, I think. Hey, Samantha, I, I really... Hold on, Carl, we're going to let Samantha have the last Carl, word here. Yeah, no, Go ahead, I Samantha. Call it you should call it the Walter Mitty royally hallucinating tour, in my opinion. How's that? Look... Okay, well, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I'm just going to call it the Royal Samantha, are you done with Carl? Listen, oh, I have an idea. Done. I'm going to. Okay, great. He's done. We yeah. got rid of him for you, Samantha. We did it. He had his say. <laughs> Samantha, we respect you tremendously. Thank you for calling in. I'd love to have you back on uh, nicer terms <laughs> than this one. Uh, I think we're talking on Paula's show tomorrow, I hope. But thank you for dropping in and clarifying the record. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the fans, everybody watching? No, thank you, um, everybody. Just um, I'd like to say, well, be careful who uh, you trust, uh, especially if they lurk in bushes and they won't leave your front lawn when you ask them to. Uh, no, everybody have a great weekend. Thanks so much. Guys, if you want more content like this, please subscribe both here and the Popcorn Palace. You can do it by hitting that button, hitting that bell for all alerts, smashing that like button, and leave a comment down below. What did you think? What do you think of Carl? Do you think Carl will leave her alone? Should he? Uh, please subscribe. Please share. And thank you guys so much for watching. Watch the full interview over on Popcorn Palace and stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Planet.